say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the If you are able, and if you are willing, please join me in prayer to open this commencement ceremony. O all-knowing and all-wise God, O sustainer of the heavens and the earth and knower of all that lies within them, O source of strength and fortitude, O giver of peace and security, be present with your blessings as we commend those here today who heard and answered the calling of mastering and advancing the several branches and disciplines of knowledge to which they have dedicated themselves. We thank you for not only allowing all those here to continue to be upright after five or six or seven years of diligent work, but also for the simple and miraculous blessings of life and health. For we are given fresh and plain reminders that flesh is mortal and that we are never guaranteed anything beyond our current breath. We cherish those in our families, or those in our lives, family, friends, supporters, who are present here today to honor the accomplishments of their loved ones. And we cherish as well those in our lives who are absent, whether by death or by distance or by other circumstance, yet who are kept near in, in heart by love. We honor all those who made our paths smoother and indeed those who made our lives at times more difficult, as when they ask such questions as, when will you be done? And what exactly are you studying again? <laughs> we show honor to all those present and absent because we love them. And moreover, because they love us by celebrating this day with joy and gratitude. We ask you, O compassionate God, just as you have granted the students here the strength and perseverance to arrive at this day, so too grant that they may be and continue to be true to the noblest of their convictions, always with courage and compassion, that their tongues and their pens may always pursue truth and place it ahead of self-interest, that they always don the heavy mantle, mantle of doctor, of teacher, with reverence and virtue, that they may continue throughout to recognize and expand the limits of their knowledge and thus that they may be a blessing to their teachers, to their colleagues, to their students, 
to their families, to their communities, and to all the world. This we ask of you, the all-wise, the ever-living. Amen. Okay, 2022, we're about to start. Uh, good morning and welcome everyone. My name is Andrew G. Campbell, Dean of the Graduate School. It's my privilege to join you today to confer doctoral degrees from Brown University. I'd like to begin by sharing an acknowledgement. Uh, Brown University is located in Providence, Rhode Island on lands that were within the ancestral, ancestral homelands of the Narragansett Indian tribe. We acknowledge that beginning with colonialization and continuing for centuries, the Narragansett Indian tribe have been dispossessed of most of their ancestral lands in Rhode Island by the actions of individuals and institutions. We acknowledge our responsibility to understand and respond to those actions. The Narragansett Indian tribe whose ancestors stewarded these lands with great care continues as a sovereign nation today we commit to working together to honor our past and build our future with truth. Now, I'd like to recognize the candidates and those who have supported them as they have completed their degrees. Ascendant, this means please stand and you will hear this word later in the ceremony, okay? Today, we recognize your dedication and your achievement. I welcome the parents, spouses, partners, and children of our graduating students here and watching from around the world. Will you please stand? And finally, I want to acknowledge your faculty advisors and mentors. Will the faculty please stand? We are delighted to have you with us. Thank you very much. Please be seated. This is an exciting day for our graduates and their families. To make it go more smoothly for all, I ask that you silence your phones now. This ceremony is live streamed on Brown's commencement website and full details about commencement weekend can be found on the Brown U app. Photographs. We all know we're interested in capturing golden moments. Please know that professional photographers are here to capture the moment when each graduate receives the diploma and the hooding. As a courtesy to others, we kindly ask that you stay in your seat and take your, your own photos after the ceremony. Now, next it's my pleasure to introduce the platform party. On your far left is Associate Chaplain of the University for the Muslim Community, Amir Ta. <laughs> next is Associate Dean of Administration and Operation, Ethan Bernstein. Then, Alicia Mosley Austin, Associate Dean of Diversity and Inclusion. <laughs> Beside her is Vanessa Ryan, Deputy Dean, Co-Deputy Dean, and Associate Dean of Student Development. <laughs> Brian G. Keating, who received his PhD from Brown University in 2000, is this year's Horace Mann Medal recipient. Dr. Keating, <laughs> Dr. Keating is a Chancellor's Distinguished Professor of Physics at UC San Diego's Center for Astrophysics and Space Science. <laughs> Next to him is Thomas A. Lewis, Associate Dean of, uh, of Academic Affairs and incoming Interim Dean of the Graduate School Together, he and Dean Ryan will uh, present the dissertation awards. We are delighted to have Dr. Mark Brumenkrantz with us today. He is an emeritus member of Brown's Board of Fellows, and he received his undergraduate and master's degree in biochemistry, biochemical pharmacology and MD at Brown. Dr. Blumenkrantz will confer degrees on behalf of the university.
These past several years have been unlike any we have experienced, and I'm so glad we are back here on Pembroke Field in person to celebrate your graduation. I love looking out and seeing all of your faces. I remember my own graduate school experience and the impact it had on me. As a Brown University graduate, your future will continue to be shaped by what you have done to earn your degree today and what you have learned about yourselves and your areas of expertise. I am honored to be sharing these final moments on campus with you as my term as dean concludes next month. I hope you will stay connected to your peers, your mentors, your program, and the graduate school. I look forward to hearing about your future pursuits and successes, of which I'm certain there will be many. Okay. Now, it is now my honor to introduce our student speaker, Jill Young Bai. Joe Young was chosen by the Graduate Student Council to address today's graduate. He will today receive a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Cognitive Science. Joe Yang is from China, where he earned his bachelor's degree from Zhengzhou University in Psychology before pursuing a master's in Cognitive and Behavioral Science at Illinois State University. During a poster presentation, he was approached by Brown Professor of Cognitive, Linguistic, and Psychological Sciences William Warren, who remarked on the similarity of their research interests. Their meeting and subsequent correspondence led Jill Yang to join or pursue his doctoral studies in cognitive science at Brown. Beyond his research, Bai participates in English language workshops hosted by the Center for Language Studies and the Sheridan Center. He also gave back through CL CLS's Language Hours, where he signed up as a Chinese language facilitator. Every Monday, he would hold conversations with Brown community members, hoping to improve their Chinese language skills. He is also a board member of the Brown Swing Club. After graduation, Bai will start a new adventure as he rides his bicycle from Providence to Seattle, where he will begin work as a research scientist for Meta, working to revolutionize the design of new assistive technology, such as smart wheelchairs and sensory substitution device. His address is entitled, don't be afraid of being vulnerable. Thank you, Dean Campbell. Dear fellow doctors, families, friends, deans, faculty, and trustees, it is my great honor today to stand here and deliver this speech. I'm honored by this level of trust from my fellow students. I want to thank the Graduate Student Council for giving me this opportunity to stand here. I feel obliged to give you my most authentic story. Based on my experience, PhD students tend to underestimate their achievements. Because we're high achievers, we always look at the next goal, the next project, or the next challenge while ignoring how far we have gone and how much we have accomplished. But today, I want to invite you to look back and see what an amazing job you have done. Brown is the most prestigious university I have ever attended. The first semester was a mixture of pride and self-doubt. I was proud because I got into the PhD program I dreamed of. I was self-doubting because everyone just seemed to be better than me here. My heart beats fast when I speak in classes and lab meetings, and sometimes I just felt I should have remained silent because my words are not valuable to others. But six years later, I was able to defend my dissertation confidently in front of a room of experts, just like what each of you did. So please let me say congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, and congratulations, my fellow doctors.
people say getting a PhD is hard because of the intellectual challenge. I would say that the intellectual challenge is really just part of the deal. Many of us came from a very different culture, including me. I came from a city called Zhengzhou in China. To use a computer game reference, it's like playing a hard game in a hard mode. If you're also an international student who came from a very different culture, you know exactly what I mean. You know the feeling of frequently explaining yourself to others. You know the feeling of being misunderstood. You know the feeling of missing your family, your friends, and even just the food you're familiar with. Some of us reached their 30s at Brown. Like me, you probably wonder at one point, why am I still in school? <laughs> you, you probably witnessed the success of your friends outside of the school while feeling stagnant or trapped in yourself. Some of us are parents, and I cannot even imagine the challenges they were facing. While the rest of us receive support from our family, they are the ones who provide it to theirs. <laughs> to the parents. Well, maybe you're not an international student, and you're not in your 30s, Good. <laughs> and, and you're not a parent. But each one of us have faced moments of challenge. Perhaps you have felt the entire world collapsed after a meeting. Or perhaps you have felt you have no future after getting a bad result from research. Have you ever procrastinated because you have so much work to do and you feel exhausted just by thinking of it? <laughs> if you do, my friend, you can proudly say to yourself today, you survived. And please give yourself a round of applause for that. Many of us have hobbies that keep us going in this marathon. I like riding my bike. I remember when I first started biking here, I got yelled at by a driver on the road. He was telling me to get off the road using the F word. <laughs> I felt humiliated. And since then, every time I hear a car honking at me or a driver yelling at me, I feel angry and, and defensive. And sometimes I respond by flipping my hand in the air and look at the driver with a scowl <laughs> so that I don't feel vulnerable. One day I was driving on the road and saw someone biking on my side. I was thinking, here's my chance to show support to my fellow cyclists. So I rolled down the window and shouted, Ale, Ale, the universal cheering language in the cycling world. However, this, this was probably the last thing I expected. He flipped his hand in the air and looked at me with a scowl, <laughs> as if he were saying, what is wrong with you? The wind was very loud at that speed, so he probably thought, I'm one of those drivers who hate cyclists, and you know, greets them with efforts. Well, have I also been one of those cyclists who misinterpreted friendly cheerings from drivers as hostility? How many positive experiences may I have missed just because of my fear of feeling vulnerable? Looking back in my life and things that have happened in the world, I realized the fear of feeling vulnerable has never done good. It makes us shut down the channel of communication, become less tolerant to uncertainty, and start to perceive others using stereotypes. And in many cases, it also leads to aggression and even 
violence. The pandemic made people feel vulnerable. Then hate crime against Asian communities soared. Maybe some people cannot accept the fact that a virus can still threaten their life in the 21st century. So they use hate to create a narrative to themselves that this is all somebody else's fault. If they understood, we, as humans, are still vulnerable in front of Mother Nature, they would feel not hate, but empathy and compassion. What do we do when everyone feels cold? We don't hate each other. We hug and warm each other. That's what we do. Yes. In my own journey at Brown, I realized that if I abandon fear and stay true to myself and others, eventually vulnerability leads to courage and strength. Every time I go to a dissertation defense, I always show support to the speaker by giving affirming looks and loud applauses because I know how much that person has to go through to stand on that stage. When I became the person on the stage, I felt the same support from others. And I wouldn't have felt that if I always feel invincible. And, sorry. Um, <laughs> vulnerability connects us. Yes, I was nervous during my dissertation, and, and I am nervous right now, but <laughs> allowing myself feeling this way reminds me that everyone has been through the same, and I am not alone. Vulnerability really connects us, because we all have been through tough time. It gives us the foundation to trust and support each other. On the topic of trust, and support. We all have people we want to thank who helped us get to this moment. My mom raised me by herself. I cannot describe how much sacrifice she has made to support my education. She saw every little progress I made along the way, and she can understand this, the meaning of this degree to me better than anyone. Right now, She's probably watching remotely from China. I just want to say to her, I just want to say to her, 谢谢你, Mama. Using my favorite quote from the movie Rocky Balboa, <laughs> it, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. My dear fellow doctors, you have now earned the highest degree in education. Moving forward, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Moving forward, we will face a world full of uncertainty. I hope you maintain a strong, trusting heart, a heart that can still feel vulnerable, a heart that is open and tolerant to uncertainty, a heart that can relate to people who are still suffering in the world. You have the power to change the world. Now go and do it. Best of luck, class 2022.
Thank you very much for that, uh, Jill Yang. Thank you. We now turn to the Joukowsky Family Foundation Dissertation Prizes. These prizes are named at, for the Joukowsky family who have shown great generosity to the university. Unfortunately, no members of the family could be here, uh, but our wishes do go with them. I do recall that uh, uh, Artemis Joukowsky passed away 13 months ago. Martha Joukowsky, professor of uh, archaeology, Egyptology, passed away in January. And we do send our well wishes to Jane, Misha, and their children. Now, we, with these prizes, we recognize outstanding achievements in research by PhD recipients in the humanities and the life, social, and physical sciences. Recipients of the awards were nominated by their departments and final selections made by the Graduate Council, including faculty members and deans. It's my pleasure to now introduce Dean Thomas A. Lewis and Dean Vanessa Ryan, who will confer the awards. Thank you, Dean Campbell. I'm honored to present these awards for outstanding scholarly achievements. I will be drawing from nomination letters and abstracts to describe some of the achievements of these remarkable recipients. The winner of the Joukowsky Dissertation Prize in the Humanities is Etel Barha Kuyatupa, who is receiving her PhD in Hispanic Studies. Her dissertation is entitled Tiempo de Promesa, Resonancias de la Revolución Cubana en la Poesía Latinoamericana, which translated reads Times of Promise, Resonances of the Cuban Revolution in Hispano-American Poetry. Echo's thesis addresses the aesthetic and existential repercussions of the Cuban Revolution through the work of a diverse set of poets from Latin America. She analyzes the changes the revolution caused in their worldviews, which varied from enthusiasm to sarcasm, depending on the moment. Her work gives a comprehensive review of the Latin American poetic map between the 1960s and 1980s. A book based on her dissertation will be published by Ibero-Americana Publishing House. Etel is also the author of five books of poetry with work exploring scarcity, violence, and transformative futures. Her latest poetry collection, Hope is Tanning on a Nudist Beach, forthcoming later this year, has already been awarded the Oversound Poetry Prize. Barha Kuyatupa has just completed a year teaching as a Dean's Faculty Fellow here at Brown and has accepted a position as an Assistant Professor of Spanish at Salisbury University in Maryland starting next fall. Congratulations, Eta. The Joukowsky Dissertation Award in the Life Sciences is awarded to Abigail Kewana Ann Brown, who's receiving... <laughs> Abigail is receiving her PhD in molecular biology, cell biology, and biochemistry. Abigail's research focuses on a specific molecular pathway that is well known to impact healthy aging and longevity called the insulin IGF FOXO pathway. Through her experiments and extensive analyses, she made the discovery that FOXO3 can dramatically alter chromatin at thousands of locations throughout the genome. And she linked these changes to activation of genes involved in stress responses inflammation, and cellular senescence. Chapter two of her thesis, which is entitled Deciphering FOXO's Role in Promoting Longevity Through Transcriptional and Epigenetic Regulation, can be found on BioArchive 
an open access preprint repository for the biological sciences. Outside of the lab, Abigail presented talks and posters at departmental events and was praised by her nominators for being able to explain and clearly communicate complex scientific concepts to non-specialist audiences. Abigail currently works as a postdoctoral researcher in the lab of Assistant Professor of Molecular Biology, Cell Biology, and Biochemistry, Ashley Webb. Congratulations, Abigail. The Joukowsky Dissertation Award in the Physical Sciences goes to Tang Li Gay, who is receiving his PhD in Mathematics today. The title of his work is Uniform Mordell Lang plus Bogomolo. His work addresses a major problem in the field of mathematics, related to the upper limit for the number of solutions for a particular theorem. His research expands on the findings of many other mathematicians, specifically related to the mordell lang conjecture, which says that certain types of equations should have only a finite number of solutions. Tang Li reviewed research that was published in 2020 and went on to, pursue, to prove a uniform bound for an important family of two-dimensional equations thereby giving a uniform version of a theorem. His nominators share that his work will be cited by researchers in years to come. Next fall, Tang Li will begin a postdoctoral appointment at Princeton University. Congratulations, Tang Li. And the Joukowsky Dissertation Award in the Social Sciences goes to Melanie White, who's receiving her, <laughs> who is receiving her PhD in Africana Studies. Like <laughs> Melanie's dissertation, What Dem Do Till We Have No Name, Intimate Colonial Violence, Autonomy, and black women's art in the Caribbean, in Caribbean Nicaragua traces the visual history of gendered racial violence against black women and girls on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. She examines how black women artists respond to intimate violence in contemporary society and how they use their visual artistic practices to reimagine the coastal landscape and life without the violence. Next fall, Melanie will start an academic appointment at Georgetown University as the Provost Distinguished Faculty Fellow in the Department of Africana Studies. She plans to spend... <laughs> but there's more. <laughs> she plans to spend the year reworking and revising her dissertation to, for publication and after her first year at Georgetown, she will begin as a tenure-track assistant professor of African American Studies and Women's Studies and Gender Studies. During her time at Brown, White has won multiple prestigious awards to support her dissertation, such as the American Association of University Women Dissertation Fellowship, the Fulbright IIE US Student Fellowship, and the Woodrow Wilson Dissertation Fellowship in Women's Studies. And this past year, she has finished the writing of her dissertation with the support of the Mellon ACLS Dissertation Fellowship. Congratulations, Mellon. <laughs> Thank you, Dean Campbell. It is truly a privilege to recognize these outstanding young scholars. Thank you.
I thank you, Dean Lewis and Dean Ryan. And again, thank you to the Joukowsky family for their generosity and support of graduate education. And to the recipients, I add my own congratulations for your outstanding contributions to scholarship. Now we turn to the Horace Mann Medal, which I expect in a few years some of you will be getting. The Horace Mann Medal, the award was established in 2003 and is given annually to a Brown Graduate School alumnus or alumna who has made significant contributions in his or her field outside or inside the academy. It is with great pleasure that I call this year's Horace Mann Medal recipient, Brian Keating, to the podium to receive his honor. Dr. Keating is currently the principal investigator and director of the Simons Observatory, which is currently under construction in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. This observatory will provide scientists a unique opportunity to study the nature of fundamental physical processes that have governed the origin and evolution of the universe. Over 270 scientists, engineers, and technologists from over 35 institutions around the world are contributing to the project, making it the world's largest cosmology collaboration. Prior to his current research efforts, Dr. Keating's trained as an observational cosmologist at Brown. He worked to design and build the first generation technology and detectors, which would later evolve to become the BICEP experiment, to measure fundamental pattern of light that would reveal a signal from the Big Bang, known as B-mode polarization. In 2005, he was recognized by the National Science Foundation with the Faculty Early Career Development Award, followed by a Presidential Early Career Award for scientists and engineers in 2007. He was also elected as a lifetime honorary member of the National Society of Black Physicists to recognize his ongoing support and mentoring of students and junior faculty from underrepresented groups. Beyond this work, Dr. Keating's public outreach includes presentations to thousands of K through 12 students board memberships with Math for America and the San Diego Air and Space Museum, and a trustee appointment for the National Museum of Mathematics. He is currently the host of a podcast streaming series called Into the Impossible, which has its own YouTube channel and is one of Apple's and Spotify's top 10 ranked science podcasts. Prior to receiving his doctoral degree at Brown, Dr. Keating earned his undergraduate degree at Case Western Reserve University and after Brown went on to postdoctoral appointments at Stanford University and the California Institute of Technology. Today, it's my distinct pleasure to acknowledge the contributions of Dr. Keating with the 2022 Horace Mann Medal. Thank you, Dr. Keating. Uh, I now turn the podium over to Binish Praves. Binish? Oh. Binish is a doctoral candidate in political science and the vice president of the Graduate Student Council. She will present this year's William de Blow Award. Thank you, Dean Campbell. It's an honor to be here on behalf of the Graduate Student Council to be presenting this award. The recipient of the 2022 Wilson de Blois Award is Lorraine Matza, the Manager of Graduate Studies in the Department of English. We are delighted to recognize Lorraine's long career of supporting graduate students at Brown as the manager of graduate studies in the Department of English and in her previous roles in that office, constituting a 44-year record of advocacy. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine has been a strong supporter of the graduate student community. She has made herself available as a friend and a confidant for the students, as well as a knowledgeable resource on navigating the department, working tirelessly to bring positivity, 
clarity, and enthusiasm to the community to combat the, ch the challenges of graduate life. We cannot think of anyone more, uh, uh, more deserving of this award for their work on behalf of doctoral students at Brown than Lorraine. We are thrilled to bestow this honor on her in recognition for her work. Thank you. We now turn to the conferral of degrees. Sokii Honorandi, Omnis Quos Ad Gradum in Philosophia, Doctoris Ireneos Comparamos Wobus Presuntamos Edeos Ad Gradum Promovere Liciat Rogamos. Candidati ad gradum in philosophia, doctoris ascendat. Actoritati mihi comisa vos ad gradum in philosophia, doctoris admito. Omniaque jura a privilegia ad hunc gradum pertinentia vobis concedo. Quari in testimonium, haec diplomata vobis solemniter trato. Okay, please be seated. I now have the honor to present the recipients of the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Brown University. Amanda J. Audes. <laughs> Alistair John Tullock. Christina Ann Marie Porras. <laughs> Andrew McCabe Wright. John Douglas Fisher. <laughs> Lauren Rochelle Franklin.
Yo Tao Lu. Jill Yao Bang. Nicholas Anthony Frank de Marinis. Sofian Chetui. George Daniel Elliott. Emily Ann Sumeli Pearson. <laughs> Goss Umjud. Yan Chi Leo. <laughs> Nomer Khalil Ula Khan. Kenneth Robert White, Jr. Jason Wade Schultz.
Rebecca Frances Durst. Gabriel Proventure Langlois. Robin Nunez. Carl John Trimbach. <laughs> Erica Marie Kenyas. Manfred Steiner. Parsa Bastani. <laughs> Prabdeep Singh Kehal. Laura Ann Garbus. <laughs> Martin Snyder Galvao. Ozan Baitosh.
Holly Christian Boyle. Teresa Elise Diotley. <laughs> Jason Roy Dev Gantenberg. Julianne E. Scarha. <laughs> Alexandria N. McMadu. Marissa and Patty. <laughs> Catherine Keller Etman. Bingley. <laughs> Swan Shu. Stephanie Foster. <laughs> Catherine Elaine Russo. Kevin Huang Win. <laughs> 
Elliot Andrew Bosco. Kira Rose Di Clementi. <laughs> Ashley Gomez. Laura Ann Madigan. Sarah Elizabeth Cabral. Liam O'Connell. Diego Jaime. Good job. Angela Lynn Tater. <laughs> May Isabel Staples. Jenna Irene Verster. <laughs> Jenna Noel Morris Love. Nathan Ryan Sear Martin. <laughs> Ime Burasa. Babak Purujuni. Oh, 
Leslie William Theodore Robinson. Tommy Ress Almeida. <laughs> Wen Chiang Fang. Wrong song. <laughs> Wing Yan Wang. Yang, you are who? <laughs> Leah Gabrielle Jenks. Dinia Tutuva. <laughs> or hey, Leonardo Mago Trejo. Chang Liu. Aurora Marie Washington. Ashley May Connard. <laughs> Megan Ann Grewer. Carolina Maya Pena. <laughs> K. 
Kelsey Nicole Shook. Jeremy Christian Porro. Amy Elizabeth Elias. Karen Jisha Wong. Sloan Gorelick. Christopher Henry Kramer. Isabella Gama Dantus. Vidushi Shukla. <laughs> Bjorn Burku. William Claiborne Taylor. <laughs> Margaret Unverzat Goddard. Ariana Falbo. <laughs> Zukwen Zwang.
Shen Ming Fu. Charles Allen Snyder. <laughs> Eric Garcia. Ching Leo. <laughs> Juan Lin Hua. Nin Li Jiao. <laughs> Kastav Dar Chakrabarti. Christine Lee. <laughs> San Cornelia Versuren. Megan Elizabeth Collier. Chantel Ferreira Pfeiffer. Isabel Rocio Nodder. <laughs> Amanda Carol Zagami. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Jane Brennan. John Michael Nelson.
Anna Nicole Kreisberg. Kristen D. McNeil. Chinreya Obone Abai. Benjamin David Boatwright. Nakama Lea Uni. Mayor Uni. <laughs> Kei Chin Wei. Tong Kai. James Q. Wong. Sabina Stefan. <laughs> Yi Shang Dong. John Sinclair Wren. Diego Antonio Verdugo Pacheco. Zeki, Ahmed, Mura, Anton. <laughs> Guillaume Jacques Blanc.
Diego Rafael Gentil Passero. Sean Bradley Williams. <laughs> Abigail Kawana Ann Brown. Selena Brown. <laughs> Why Shing Tung? Theodora Myrtle Pericarda. Pericarda. Perdicari. Perdicari. Matteo Eudice. Marcel Cortez Perhuffo. Juan Pablo Uribe Trujillo. Janet Carolina Lopez. <laughs> Pablo Garriga. Valeria Zurla. Marco Stanborg Pedersen. Igor Chirasa. <laughs> oh, 
Jung Hong Dai. Jung Hui Cho. Zhao Sha Ro. Eugene Kim. <laughs> Armita Razia Manas Zeta. Jeremy Jelani Lomax. Nakazi Oates. <laughs> DeAndre Juwan Swells. Marie LaRose. <laughs> Warren Randy Harding. Felicia Marie Bishop Deneau. <laughs> Melanie White. Chi Chang. <laughs> 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 
Graham Lucas Bishop. Taiwoo Kim. <laughs> Min Sik Han. Ji Wan Cho. <laughs> Ting Wei Meng. Shen Yue Yu. Nicole Renee Provenza. Amy Hujin Lee. <laughs> Lindsay Pearl Schneider. John William Flannery. <laughs> Razeev Yosef Kant. Amanda S. Koo. <laughs> Yue Hu. Han Xian Jin. Thank 
Chen Liu. Meng Ke Zhang. Aaron David Danilak. Shan Liao. Jen Xiao. Andrea Devin Rummel. Christopher Robert Yates. <laughs> Eleanor Rowe Stephanie. Matthew Lawrence Ellis. <laughs> Emily Elizabeth Simon. Claire Grandy. <laughs> Michael Joseph Gastiger. Ethel Barha Kuyutupa. <laughs> Nicholas Barboza Lopez. Pedro Lopez de Almeida.
Jordan Benjamin Jones. Tang Lee Ge. Ju Wei Liang. Queen Mung. Maria Victoria Almanza Villatoro. Odysseus Skartsis. Peter S. Walecki. <laughs> Farias Salas Rocha Neto. Samuel Austin Patillo Smith. <laughs> Wei Chung. Max Henry Weinrich. Austin Mark Carter. Harry Calvin Kramer the third. Adrian Marie Parsons. Zelda Buyukozturk.
Eliana Elizabeth Escobar. Brendan Anthony Enzurez. <laughs> Xu Ling Chen. Katie Marissa Oakley. Akash Balchandra Sane. Syed Hussein Rush Behesh. I wish to report that 289 students have completed their degree requirements this academic year. Will all doctoral degree candidates please rise? Udete igitur ut probe intergreque in amalamentum rei publicae eun dei honorum, ut decet eos hoc gratus honoratos vos gratis sedete doctores in philosophia. Congratulations on receiving your doctoral degree. Congratulations and please be seated. I'd like to thank Dr. Mark Blumenkrantz, my fellow deans, and the terrific staff of the Graduate School for helping in making such a successful event. As you go out into the world to serve, in the words of Brown's charter, with usefulness and reputation, in various roles as postdoctoral fellows in government, the private sector, nonprofit organizations, and as faculty in colleges and universities around the world, I ask you to remain connected to Brown as loyal alumni. You are now and will remain an integral part of the university and its traditions. I now proclaim octoratata mi commissa declaro ceremonia terminata. Congratulations. The doctoral ceremony will now conclude with the benediction and the alma mater. Afterwards, we ask graduates, families, and guests to stay where they are until the platform party and faculty have left the tent. You may then head to the university ceremony, which begins at 1.15 on the main green. There are seats reserved there for you. I invite Amir Toff back to the podium. Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for the blessings of this institution, Brown University, and for the achievements of our graduates today, who are bidding this place farewell and whom we pray will strike out on prosperous careers as teachers, researchers, thinkers, 
and writers or wherever their paths may take them. Just as you have blessed them from the beginning to the end of their paths as students and candidates, we ask with humility and hope that you send your mercy and guidance down upon this new beginning of theirs as doctors of the sciences they have so assiduously pursued. Be with us, O oh Lord, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence. To you forever and ever belong all praise and all thanks. Amen. Oh. 